Welcome back to Malita's Delicacies. Friends, today I am back with a simple Goan curry recipe of Sorak and the fish curry using Malita's Delicacies curry powder. This was a much demanded recipe. So here I have my curry powder which I made using kankon chilies, monkey track, turmeric, cumin and coriander. But getting the proportions right of each ingredient is the key in making this masala. So if you have this masala in hand, it's very easy to make the fish curry or the goan sorak. Because the, all the ingredients needed are in here. So let's get started without wasting any time. Now here I am taking 2 cups of freshly grated coconut as my requirement for the day is so. Now the proportions here is 1 cup of coconut is to 2 tablespoons of curry powder. Now this is the standard size of the tablespoon but not everybody has it at home. So I will show you using my steel spoon. Now here I have used 2 cups of coconut, so I am using 4 tablespoons of curry powder. To this I am adding few cloves of garlic, since it's a dry powder, garlic is not added in it, so we need to add the garlic. Add about a cup of water and give it a nice good stir. As this is a curry powder, it will absorb this water. So after about 2 minutes, add some more water and grind this to a smooth fine paste. Adding water as and when required to grind it to a smooth paste. And friends, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed to my channel as yet, then please do like my video, share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So here I have ground this. It has just taken me about 5 minutes and it's nice smooth curry paste is ready. Now to make the Govan Sorak, it's very simple yet delicious curry. To this I am taking here finely diced one onion. To it I am adding salt. Better to use sea salt though. And nicely squash the onion till it releases its juices. This is a very important step in making some delicious Govan Sorak curry. You see, I have nicely muddled it now. Now, I am adding here uh, some of the masala which I have ground. And I will adjust its consistency using water as required. Do not make it very watery. Do not keep it very thick as it will thicken up as you cook as well. So, here for one cup of the masala, I have used about one and a half cup of water you use as you require. Now to this I am adding just one piece of dry mango. Uh, since already monkey jack is added into this masala, I am not adding extra of the saring agent. So my sora curry mixture is ready. I will let it boil. Now to make the fish curry, I am following the same process. I I have taken here one large onion and to it with salt I have nicely squashed it and I am using the remaining of the masala adjusting the consistency I just love this beautiful color of the curry my sora curry is coming to a boil this is a crucial time you need to be in very attentive to the curry. Don't let it spill out because as I always say the whole flavor of this curry is in you know what rises up. Now to this I am adding half slit green chili. Mind you this chili is not spicy. This is this just gives a kind of you know flavor to your curry. And once it comes to a boil, lower the flame to medium and let it simmer for about 5 minutes. T 
till your sora curry is ready. It rises very quickly like the milk. So just be attentive to your curry so that the goodness doesn't get spilled out. Stirring in occasionally. Once it comes to a boil and then it settles down, then it simmers well. And here my delicious Goan Sora curry is ready to be relished. Now to the fish curry, I have here my mackerels which are nice fresh and I have seasoned them with sea salt. Now I'll cut them into two pieces and add them to my fish curry. And once the curry has come to a boil, give it a nice good stir and add in your fish at this stage to your curry. You can add any type of fish that you desire. Give it a nice quick stir. Now to this I am adding 4 petals of kokum. This gives a very distinct flavor to the Goan curry. I have added just 4. Mine are not very... Uh, sa kokum. In case if your kokum is very sa, use less as I have already added monkey jack as a saring agent to my curry. I'm also adding here half green, green chili for the flavor. Now those using tamarind, if your tamarind is old tamarind which is little darker in color, the final curry color of yours will also change. Do a taste test. Add seasoning if required at this stage. Lower the flame to me low to medium and let it simmer till the fish is well cooked. And it's been five minutes since the fish was added to the curry and my delicious Goan fish curry with mackerels is ready. Here my sorak has also cooled down and I have let my fish curry rest 5 minutes so that the flavors settle down. And here my delicious Goan fish curry with my homemade curry masala is ready to be relished. Isn't the color so beautiful and tempting? The aroma, if I could just pass it on to you, is really so delicious. And I'm already feeling so tempted to dig in the real goodness of the mackerel curry. Thank you for watching. Be tuned to Melita's Delicacies for more interesting and exciting recipes that I have on my channel and that I will upload in the coming days. To next week with yet another delicious Goan recipe. God bless.